it is not very clear to know that Nnamdi Kano's continued detention in the DSS court study was organized, a plan by President Muhammad Buhari and APC government to disrupt the election in the Southeast region. Edwin Clark, an elder statesman and the leader of the Pan Niger Data Forum, said, hmm. Well, if you look at this carefully, self, you go even know say uh, something is really very wrong. Look at it. Let's analyze it this way. Boom, a court came and now gave a judgment that Mazen and the Kano is discharged and acquitted. Not up to 24 hours. AGF Abubakar Malami gave a statement that Namdi Kano was only discharged but not acquitted. So for that reason, Mazen Namdi Kano will continue to remain in DSS course study. And knowing the gravity of this they are doing, just like you are putting more fuel in the fire in the southeast region. Before now, they are asking you, release this man. And eventually, the courts now, now told you, see, you were wrong in the actions you took concerning the IPOP leader, Mazen Kano, kidnapping him from Kenya to Nigeria and the torture and all that. That has, you know, uh, have made you, you know, to lose the fight in this case. So for that reason, he must be released. Then the Nigerian government coming out to tell Nigerians that Mazin Namdekano cannot go, that they are still looking for more, you know, uh, more charges. <laughs> more charges. They are still looking for how to gather more charges to press on him. Shows that they have a plan. This other state man might not be wrong with his assumption. Because it's really scary. You know your people as a leader. At least you should have your people at heart. With what is going on in the southeast region, you understand that going to that region to conduct election, why Mazen and the Kano is still in DSS custody is going to be a problem. Now, they have a presidential candidate in the southeast, which is um, the former Anambra state governor, Peter Obi. They know that most southeasterners are in support of Peter Obi. Can I say most Nigerians are in support of Peter Obi? And with what is on ground, what is on ground right now with the, with the, with the issue on ground, if this issue is not cleared, it's going to be very difficult for people to come out on election day to come and vote. So that means they have reduced Peter Obi's votes. This is just to get back to Peter Obi because they are saying Peter Obi, you know, as a threat to them. Record that before now. The Ed, Edwin Clark, this other statesman, the the leader of the Pan Niger Data Forum, urged President Muhammad Buhari to order the immediate release of Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO. According to Niger News, the Court of Appeal freed Namdi Kano and ordered his release from the core study of the Department of State Services, DSS. However, in response to the verdict, I've said it before, that the Atton uh, and Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Sabubaka Malami, stated that the IPOP leader was not acquitted, but rather discharged. He vowed that the federal government will investigate or, uh, alternative prosecution uh, strategies for the pro biafra activist. In a statement released on Monday, Clark accused 
Malami of neglecting a portion of his duties and engaging in executive radicality, Clark has uh, ascertained that Buari had committed uh, to abide by the court's decision and urged the president to uphold his ways. He stated, I find this federal government's posture somewhat bumpers and unnecessary. I thought, fervently urged President Muhammad Buhari to comply with the court of appeals ruling and order the immediate release of Namdi Kano in the interest of the national and southeast zone peace. I recall, and it is a common knowledge, that when the leaders, the elders and the traditional rulers of the southeast pleaded with President Muhammad Buhari during a meeting in Abakeleke, Ebony State, to release Kano and other pro Biafra agitators in detention, the president replied that Kano Namdikano's fate would be determined by the courts. Even when Igbo leaders visited him at Asoro, the president reiterated that the subject was no longer in his or the security agency's hands, but in the hands of the judiciary and that the courts, and is the court's decision would be final. Now that the Court of Appeal has rendered its decision, I employ President Buhari to comply with the court's ruling, free the young guy, and enable peace to prevail. At this time, when insecurity is the norm, everything that would strengthen the nation's peace and stability must be supported. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami's son, must recognize that he is the Chief Law Officer of the Federation in accordance with Section 150, one of Nigeria's 1999 Constitution as amended. He is expected to maintain neutral neutrality in all situations in affairs. Hmm. But that is not in the case of this very man. Well... My people, you've all heard it now. Nigerians are still talking. Nigerians are still talking. Release Mazin Namdekano for peace in Nigeria, especially in the Southeast region. But it seems that the federal government of Nigeria care less about this. So sad to say. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.